we used to say when I grow up in my house, we will only eat tasty. So just because I'm in England doesn't mean we will not eat tasty in my house. I will do everything and anything to make sure I get me tasty. Hello sunny bonani beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here my name is Tenjiwe a South African content creator currently based in the UK and today I am taking you to a South African shop to show you how much we pay for South African food here in the UK and uh, thank you so much for clicking to watch this video I do apologize but I had to do a voiceover because the shop is by a very busy road and it was also windy so there was a lot of just bad audio so please do forgive me for that but let's go inside the shop oh i always get confused never know where to start obviously i need some rice guys the shop is not that big at all but i could not spend too much time inside to record everything for you because at the moment they are only taking one household at a time and there were people already waiting outside to come in the shop so I just had to quickly buy what I needed and when I get home I will show you everything that I bought and tell you how much it was moments later so guys I am back home and I am so excited to show you exactly what I bought and to tell you how much it all cost so this is the buravors which is the correct word for sausage this is a south african sausage which is called buravors and we use it a lot for so it is six pound fifty six pound fifty is a hundred and thirty two rands eighty two cents i've got my receipts because not everything has a price so i have to refer to my receipt and then i have iwisa maize meal uh, we some maize meal. We use it for pap, and it is a South African staple. Maize meal is two point five kg, and it was three ninety nine. So let's call it four pounds. Four pounds is eighty two rands thirty five. Eighty two rands thirty five for two kg of iwisa. Red speckled beans. Beans were two ninety nine, sixty one rands seventy seven for five hundred grams of beans. Please, if you are in South Africa or if you can still remember the prices from back home, please do let me know how much these things cost back home. And if you have them in your country other than South Africa, it's just that I know other countries have similar things but different brands. Please do let me know how much you pay for these things where you are. And of course, if you are in the UK and you go to a different South African shop, please do let me know how much they sell it for. This one that I buy from, I do recommend it. It's in Woking on Goldsworth Road and you can order as well. I'll put their number somewhere here. You can order online or you can go on their website and order and they will deliver. They usually take two days to deliver at most. Uh, sometimes you order today, you get it tomorrow. And for me, I'm very lucky because I'm just a few minutes away and I get everything I need and bring it home. But they can ship to wherever you are within the UK. And uh, shipping is also very cheap and it is very, very fast and reliable. So please do check them out. Tasty rice. It was £3.60 for each bag. So this is one kg of uh, tasty rice. It's a very popular South African brand. It's very good parboiled rice. It's long grain, so I, I like it here. I prefer to only buy their basmati. But when it comes to long grain, I still want tasty. Like we used to say when I grow up in my house, we will only eat tasty. So just because I'm in England doesn't mean we will not eat tasty in my house. I will do everything and anything to make sure I get me tasty. And it is three pounds sixty, seventy four rands twelve cents for each one kg of tasty. 74 rands 12 cents 
please let me know how much is testic at home how much is 10 kg because i think 1 kg might actually be equivalent to 10 kgs at home so please do let me know how much is 1 kg as well as how much is 10 kgs of testing. Samp, samp, samp. And it is also 1 kg. It is also Iwisa, which is a very popular South African brand. And 1 kg of Iwisa samp is £2.20. 45 rands, 29. And then what's the point of going to a South African shop if you are not going to get yourself some Simba? Please, please. Do me a favor don't go to a south african shop if you are not gonna get sick and this is one pound 20 24 rand 71 cents and i bought a few of these and these each of these 300 meals is one pound 35 and i bought 6 12 18 of them 24 pounds 30 for this 530 rands so one of these is 27 rands 79 but these are basically like you can't get them anywhere other than south africa so i had no choice so i bought six of each there's four of these here and i bought obviously chappies i love chappies and i just love to read did you know did you know number four when you leave south africa you will really miss south african food and uh, obviously champion it takes me like it can take me a whole day to finish one of these a whole day just to finish one of these because i do not chew it i can't chew it i cannot chew it my my teeth are already so messed up as it is it is a toffee and it is very very nice they didn't have the black one so some of these flavors are not as nice as the original black one but it's better than nothing these were this is one pound one pound one pound today's exchange rate one pound is 20 rands 59 so 20 rands 59 cents for these another one for these and another one for these this is one very popular cider in south africa it is hunter's dry hunter's gold it is the real thing guys this is hunter's dry 288 rands 24 for this half pack of hunters biltong biltong is this dry meat from south africa americans call it beef jerky it is very nice in south africa you get like a variety of meats because you can get kudu impala think of an animal you name it you can find biltong no i lie you will never find cats you'll never find dog yeah so some animals you will find not all of them it's very nice biltong is very very nice but it requires you to have strong teeth if you have never tried biltong please do try it next time you go to a south african shop or go online look for a south african shop online order some biltong and come back and thank me later this is biltong it's it's dry meat but it's really nice biltong was six pounds 123 rand 53 cents so all together i paid 72 pounds 37 p 72 pounds 37 p let us see how much that is 1489.98 i know that's an amount that can buy groceries for a family at home but unfortunately i am not at home and i just wanted you guys to see how much we have to pay for south african food when we are not living in south africa when we live abroad the little things that we take for granted at home we have to pay a lot of money for but it is all worth it and if you do live in the uk please do check out the south african shop in woking it is called best bill tongue woking best bill tongue woking i will put a link to their website on the description below i'm excited i'm excited i know that's quite a bit of money if you're thinking in rents if you think uh, how much you can get at home for that much money but here remember we do not have like i will never find 10 kgs of testic rice i will never find uh 10 kgs or even 5 kgs of uh milli meal or of samp or big we get things in small portions and 
and they do cost a lot more than they do at home but we must also consider that they have to ship it and they pay a lot of money to get the stuff here they have to pay for customs and also it is much more expensive to run a business in the uk i'm sure it's the same with south african shops in other parts of the world and as much as it's just a spaza shop but they're not paying spaza shop fees so please do support them if you are a south african please do check out best built on walking they do sell online like i said they do take orders over the phone as well and if you are not south african please do try out some south african foods and let me know what you think thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed making the video and as much as i will enjoy eating my food i don't even know which one to start with do i start with turkeys champion peas pop like what do i start with cream soda hunters paleta do i start cooking samp now do i cook pop do i like make rice what do i do please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also press the notification button and please do comment down below it really does help the channel when we have interaction when you comment on the comment section and please do share the channel share the link to other people as well i love you guys and i will see you in the next video bye